very first thing I would do is call up some friends because nobody wants to spend the end of the world alone. And then I would try to convince them to just do a road trip to different nature spots. Um, I'm a big believer in the peace and the like calm that being in nature can bring. So I'd want to spend like my last 24 hours either in, on a beach, in the woods somewhere, uh, with good company. So I'm Haitian American and in Haitian cuisine there's a beverage called Clemos which is delightful. It's primarily had during the holiday time. Um, but it's, just, it's very similar. I would say it's like a Haitian version of eggnog. So my grandma used to make kamas from scratch. And I remember like the smells of um, cinnamon and anise and rum and coconut, like, Oof, all of those things together. Even now, I'm like, man, I want a cup of that. Um, really delicious and reminds me of my grandma. Do your best to do good. I feel like in all of the things that I do, in all of the relationships I have, in all of the spaces that I take up, like I make a point to just try to generate more good in the world. I mean, Living life is hard. <laughs> I don't want to be a person who does things to make other people's lives more difficult. Um, so I'm always prioritizing just doing good. My Denman brush that I use to detangle my hair. <laughs> um, I, as you can see, my hair is quite kinky, curly, coily. Um, and us curly folks. You know, styling our hair, it's a marathon. Lots of endurance, lots of strong biceps and forearms have been developed in order to make all this happen. And having a Denman brush helps me to kind of like get everything looking situated the way I want it. Um, and I feel like it's also become my staple hair tool. Like ever since I went natural, I've been using a Denman brush and I'm like, yeah, it's just made my life so much better. I don't, I don't want to go back to what I was doing before. <laughs> I'm gonna go for the gold and like call out all systems of oppression, all of the isms, uh, sexism, racism, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I feel like all of those systems of oppression are things that perpetuate or enable more pain and suffering and strife for everyone. Um, and the world would be a better place without all of those things. So yeah, if we could just like, you know, bibbity boppity boop and do away with that, <laughs> I think we'd all be much better off.